This tutorial is about how to work with DSS Pro 8.1. So the basic operation includes working with Monitoring Center. If you click on Monitoring Center, you will see the empty tab where you can drag and drop the cameras from your view. For example, one, two, three, and so on and so on. You can also change the layout if you wish. Once you are once you create your layout, you can also save your layout. For example, save it as webinar one. And click on save. The view is nice now saved. In case someone close your view and you would like to open the new monitoring center, go to views and see your last view. Okay, let's go back to monitoring center. You see over here I got a couple of cameras, some of them are for collecting metadata, some of them are for collecting the faces and so on with the IVS rules, whatever you want. You can place here the cameras from one or multiple sources. For example, here one camera from the Poland, right? Or I can close it, I can put some cameras uh, from the other area and so on and so on. Whatever you wish, you can place the cameras over here from different objects, from different scenarios. Okay, now, what you can do over here? While double clicking on the camera, you put the camera on the full screen. Double click again, and you put back to your layout. For example, in my case, one to four cameras. Okay, we have a couple of buttons on the camera over here. The first one is instant playback. If we hit instant playback, we are going back 30 seconds in the playback. All the other cameras stay live. If we want to go back live also with this camera, cancel that just by clicking again on instant playback button. All the camera can be easily switched to playback. So just switch them to playback and you can move on the time zone with the one or multiple cameras. You can bind the cameras together if you wish, with synchronize playback button, which is located over here. Now going back to live for all of the cameras. What we can, where we can find the data, which we have from the face recognition or cameras from the metadata cameras. It's over here. So click on this button and you will see all the metadata which we have. Each metadata can be, of course, replayed. DSS Pro is very easy to use. Once we see, for example, some suspicious person over here and we want to replay this event, we don't have to go really into playback and look for the specific time. We can just hit over here the playback button and this event will be played back to us. So we can see the person who was walking over here and crossing over a tripper wire, you know, the really suspicious guy. Once we are done with investigation, we can just close it. The same thing can be done with the faces. So again, just go in the playback and you will see when the person enter the room. Now I will speed up a little bit so we don't have to wait so much time. And we can see when the suspicious person came to our office. Any of those events can be replayed on exactly the same thing. If we have some person which is suspicious and we would like to enroll we can all the time click on the person we see here the face recognition and we can enroll this person in some database which is already prepared for us for example daho employee thieves or vip customers based on those groups we can create actually the rules so something can happen for example some cameras can pop up if the thief will arrive or VIP customer, whatever. Enrollment is easy. Just click on thief, for example, put the name of the thief and click OK. Now this person is enrolled in the thief database. If the person will arrive again, we will receive the alarm from this database. Same thing can be done with the license plate. So you can register any kind of the license plate you wish. This is very useful for gas stations or the city surveillance projects. So just open the vehicle arming group, click on add, click this license plate, 
and add to specific group and hit OK. The vehicle is automatically enrolled into the database. So working with DSS is really, really easy. What else we can place on the view? We can have the browser window. And in this browser window, we can use anything what got some web user interface. For example, youtube.com slash Dahua DSS Pro. And we will see our YouTube channel where you can find all of our videos. And replay them, of course. Another thing what we can have, it's a map. We can have several kinds of the map, for example, our office map. What we can do with the map over here? We can, for example, open the camera, which is located over here. So we can see the camera. Or while talking about the access control, we can open the door. So we can open the door, see related camera, or close the door or cancel the alarm. What we can place on our maps? We can place the VDP devices, video door phones, access control, and the cameras. The DSS supports two kinds of maps. It's a Google Maps or it's actually our raster map. On the both maps, you can place kind, some kind of devices. So this is really rough overview what you can do in DSS monitoring view. Thank you very much for watching.